Hi there everyone, so it's currently 2.57, meaning in about two minutes time, it's going to be Friday, and as such, the brand new deal for the High Score Challenge medals is going to be in the shop. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on that deal and sort of who it's actually aimed at. Um, just before I do that though, because we have two minutes to kill, um, I made a Discord channel. I made it last night for anyone that wants to jump on and get advice about... Um, like strategies, advice, you know, like help with events, all that kind of good stuff. Um, about 20 people jumped on in the first couple hours, so I'm really, really, really happy with the response rate that I got from that. So thank you to all of you who have already jumped on, and I hope to see you know, lots more of you coming on and sharing tips with each other and just hanging out and having a chat. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where that goes. So again, thank you for all of you who have already jumped on, and yeah, I look forward to seeing a few more of you coming on. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's talk about the deal. So from what the tweet said, there are going to be six of the high score challenge medals returning. Uh, all of the tier four high score challenge medals will be available to pull in the deal, and you'll get one every time from what I hear. Now, I could just wait, you know, two minutes and find out the actual facts, or I could speculate like a fool. From what I understand, they're not going to be orbed. And I thought, when I was initially hypothesizing what this deal could be, I thought, okay, maybe they'll come orbed, you know, and that way, you know, there's six of them, but if you do a few pulls, you have a decent chance of guilty one. Again, you have, if, the, if only one comes per deal, only one comes per pull, sorry, that's a one in six chance of getting the one you want, let alone multiple copies of it enough to actually get a guilty copy of it. So I'm thinking, you know, they'd have to be orbed, right? Or else who's going to pull for them? You know, people that missed out on getting any copies last time aren't going to even bother because why, why would they bother? And then I'm kind of thinking, all right, so if you're close to guilty one, so the top 100 people in the respective high score challenges each time got enough to guilt one, right? So maybe they're interested in getting a couple more copies just to roll for traits, okay? So maybe you'll get a couple pulls out of those guys. The next top, one, so the top 101 to the top 1,000, they missed out on guilting their medal by like two, isn't it? You should have gotten, I believe, one copy with four orbs, meaning you're two away from guilting. So those guys are probably likely to pull because they only need two copies to get a guilted version of this medal that's been sitting in their inventory for months. Hang on, let's see if we can... Okay, so it's three o'clock. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and refresh the shop. Hopefully there's no update. And there it is. So the high score hits deal. So... 3,000 jewels to get 10 medals, so let's take a look. Let's get that volume up a just a little bit. Okay, so this four day only deal guarantees that each pool at least, sorry, includes at least one tier four medal. Okay, so please note that the tier three medals listed below are not guaranteed in each pool. Okay, so it looks like we've got, yeah, those six. So Jack and Sally won't be included. Um, and I didn't know this until I read it on Reddit. Um, from what I understand, essentially there's like some sort of deal worked out where this game can use the images associated with the Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, but can't profit off them. Therefore, it can't be put into a deal that requires spending money to pull from it, because that would be Square Enix profiting from, from those medals. So. Uh, from what I understand, Jack and Sally medals and any of those kind of medals will never be featured in a pool, which is why we got the Jack Skellington medal for free so long ago now, back in Halloween of last year. Okay, so, just having a look here, um, and I guess you can get tier 3 medals included in the pools as well, so, I would advise waiting, if, if you have any interest in this at all, I would advise waiting just a little bit and seeing... You know, taking a look on Reddit, whatever, seeing people's pulls, because you know people are going to go for it straight away. Um, okay, who is this for? Like I was just saying before, the top 1,000, the top, sorry, top 101 to 1,000 place in each of the respective hard score challenges, right? They are only two away from guilting the tier four. So each time they pull, they have a one in six chance of getting the, the medal that they need. And... Essentially, they have to hit that twice. Now, it could be that they are consistently in that bracket and they consistently got, you know, five out of the seven needed to guilt uh, tier four high score challenge medals. 
meaning that they could pull from this deal every single time and get something that they technically need. Um, but for someone like like me, for example, I didn't even know what a high score challenge was when I first started out, because I started when the Australian version came out. Uh, I believe that's when the Dark Side one first came out. And by the time I was like reading it properly, um, the Behemoth one was out, and I had no chance. By the time I even like fully understood the game properly, I think that was like during the maybe the Jafar one, but I was on holiday, so I couldn't even get paid in it properly. So anyway, anyway, um, this deal has no interest to me whatsoever, unfortunately, because I mean the medals look cool, but I'm never I'm never going to be able to get one of these things. You know, I'd have to pull if I pulled seven times. If if I pulled seven times, and <laughs> If each one of those seven gave me the same medal that I needed, you know, then I'd be able to have a gilded, me gilded copy of a medal that is, frankly, kind of obsolete at this point. I mean, Zigbar B out damages Dark Side significantly. Like, it does a hell of a lot more damage than Dark Side does now. Behemoth is pretty standard. Maleficent A is pretty cool, but I mean, Maleficent B does a fantastic job of doing what Maleficent A does. Um, the the world ends with you. Metal is pretty cool. I mean, it's upright speed and it's good in the Colosseum, I believe. No, I'm wrong. Sorry. Uh, it's good the more locks you have, so it's good in raid boss battles. But I mean, a lot of you guys that like, buy VIP you just picked up the the King Donald and Goofy medal, which is, from what people have been saying, uh, an incredible, absolutely incredible raid medal. So. You know, Rax is completely outclassed now. Yeah, you could have, find some use for it in crowd mode, sure, but still. Oh boy. I'm just, yeah, I'm kind of wondering who this is for. I mean, what it said there, it said that the tier 3 medals are not guaranteed in the pools. Please note the tier 3 medals listed below are not guaranteed in each pool. So I'm guessing that they're added to, you'll get your 1 guaranteed tier 4, potentially more. Um, and then amongst the tier 3s, there's probably some of these scattered in there as well. And they might have a higher than usual pull rate, or they might be completely random. You know, you might... I'd have to imagine, though, that the the rate of drawing one of these four would be higher than, than the rate of pulling just any tier 3 medal. I'd, I'd have to imagine. Um, I, mean, I suppose you could, like, be interested in trying to guilt one of these things. If you were very close to guilt guilting one of these, you could do a pull for, like, yeah, I'll see what I get, kind of a pull. Like, let's say you had five dots on either, you know, what's it called? It's like beaten Ryan. Yeah, beaten Ryan. If you had like five dots on, say, beaten Ryan, and you're like, yeah, I'll do a pull. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe I won't. You could do that. You'll get one tier four that will then sit in your inventory forever and be like, you can never guilt me. You look at me. I'm just not sure who this is for. You know what I mean? Like, you could guilt one of these tier three medals. Yeah, but they're nothing, they're nothing special, unfortunately. Shadow is so far out class, it's not even funny. We were just given Maleficent B, which is far superior to, to Jafar. Um, Pete is a reverse power, but next month we'll be getting a reverse power. Organization 13 medal. Like, yeah. I'm not really sure who this is for. Uh, it's definitely not for me, but it's probably for the top, like, 1,000 in each high squad challenge. I mean, even if you came below that, even if you were, like, two to five, like, top 2,000. That's still. Sorry, I'm wrong on it. The entire time, I've, the entire time I've been saying top 100, I should have been saying a thousand. Sorry, I got my Colosseum mixed up. And then the next bracket is top 1001 to top 2000. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so top 1000 would have been able to guilt the medal. Top 2000 would have been able to get five out of the seven needed to guilt it. And then top 5000 would have just gotten this one copy, right? Yeah, that's all I've ever gotten is one copy. So. I mean, at that point, you're so far away from guilting it that it doesn't even matter, like... Yeah. I'm confused, guys. I'm not really sure who it's for. I know who it's for. It's for the top percentage of players that pulled in the first place to get to those positions, and therefore are likely to pull again. It's the guys that spend a bit of money, have a few extra jewels lying around, and are like, yeah, you know what? I'll throw down... 15,000 jewels on this deal and try and guilt some of those old medals because why not? Why not? So yeah, nothing really to talk about here guys, unfortunately. Um, it's only a four day deal, which means that yeah, they're all going to end at the same time. The current deals that we have will all end at the same time. 
meaning that next Monday we should have potentially the HD Nomine deal. Potentially. That could be something to look forward to. Um, but yeah, until then, nothing really to talk about. Just keep... Well, actually, let's check the notices before I completely write this off. <laughs> yeah, nothing else. So just, just the high school hits deal. So... Uh, enjoy raiding over the weekend, I guess. Um, jump on the Discord channel, I'd really love to see you there. Uh, we can share advice and share tips and tricks and whatever else. And yeah, I'll leave you with that, guys. So, once again, all the best, and I'll, I'll catch you next time. Alright.